Hello and welcome to Jixi Shed. So this piece of beach on the lathe was what was to become the last of the presents that my daughter presented to her teachers at the end of the last school year. So I just put it on the lathe between centers to start roughing it out before putting a tenon onto it. So the end section had some cracks in it and by just parting below it, it also gave me a chance to start seeing the size and shape I was going for with the pen pot. So once I was finally happy with the diameter of the pen pot, I could decide on how tall I wanted it to be but this also gave me space to um, w work the tool so I could shape the bottom. So now it is onto hollowing the piece so the end bit um, could now finally be cut off completely and then I initially hollowed out with the Forstner bit in the Jacobs chuck um, before moving on to using my Simon Hope um, Pro Hollowing tool. Now the Simon Hope hollowing tool made quick work of the hollowing process and it was a real joy to use with this piece. So I normally sand from a low grit moving through the grits up to 400 but I find that I don't need to necessarily go past that um, but in this instance after cleaning it with spirits and raising the grain I did go back over um, the sanding process back up to 400 grit um, before moving on to finishing it with oil. I always love this part where oil is applied to the wood and it just makes it pop bringing out its beauty in total I did about three coats of oil on this that just gave it a really nice glossy finish in the end. After parting it off the lathe, I just used the Dremel Max sanding band just to clean off the nib before sanding it back up to 400 there as well. So having used the Dremel engraver freehand to do the engraving on the last two gifts, I decided to this time create a template that would guide me through the process giving me much cleaner lines and a much better inscription and 
the Dremel engraver just cuts through the paper, doesn't pull it along, um, which just made that a nice easy process to do. So having used sanding sealer prior to doing the engraving just meant that when it came to using the pen, um, the ink didn't bleed out of the lines, um, which did occur on one of the previous projects, so it was a lesson learned. And then I just used some sanding sealer to seal the ink in. Obviously I had to use a spray sealer, um, otherwise wiping it will just wipe the ink away. Um, and then just use microcrystalline wax as a final coat. So obviously no pen pot is complete without a pen in it. So I used some of the leftover spalted beach to um, make up some blanks and turn a pen from it. So unfortunately I didn't get great footage of the assembly process so I had to cut it short but hopefully you've seen a pen assembled before, if not there is some of my previous videos that um, will give you better indication of the process. Well thank you for joining me in Jigshi Shed. So there's the pen pot and the pen from the same piece of beach that the bud vases were from and this will be the present for my daughter's teacher and uh, obviously with the pen pot it doesn't quite show off the spalting as much as the butt was as they do to the shape. You can see some of it still in there, but I still really love the color on the outside. And um, the pen is showing some of the spalting there as well. Now, obviously, the pen is lighter in color because of the wax finish rather than the oil finish. But I really like both and hope the teacher will as well. And this time I used the template for the engraving and that came a lot neater and a lot better. So much happier with that. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please um, give me a, the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. And I will see you next time. Take care. <music>